like to talk about our journey, how we developed our network uh, in the past two years. And I can tell you it was an exciting journey. And uh, I can also reveal, we were talking about small cells. There are also small cells in Europe. I will talk about it later on. But what did we do to develop our network, what we name the 4G network in the Netherlands? Actually, our journey started in 2013, where we made the decision, yes, we want to deploy 4G, and yes, we want to do it very fast. Fortunately, we got a kind of accelerator in Vodafone, which is named the Spring Program. I think you are well aware about it. And for the Netherlands, Netherlands it meant that we were able to invest uh, in the last year and also this year additional 270 million uh, into our network. And it was not just about 4G, it was also developing a fully converged network. So we're talking about 4G as part of our converged portfolio, delivering the best possible customer experience to our consumer customers as well as to our enterprise customers, and we include also fixed uh, into the whole story. When we talk about 4G and the 4G network, that's all about customer experience. And what does it mean? It's not just speed. It's not just getting the highest possible speed into the network. It's a holistic story. It's about getting dense coverage, delivering perfect voice, delivering the right capacity at the right point of time. But it's also about stability. It's resiliency of the network. And it's also pushing innovations, innovations like active antennas, like small cells, like indoor small cells, indoor solutions for big corporates. This is what we define to deliver the right customer experience at any point of time at, in any place of the Netherlands. What did we do to guarantee this solid network experience? Yeah, first of all, it's, it's really coverage. Uh, it's coverage with densification, and it's also leveraging on the newest technologies. So what we did in just one and a half year time frame, we built nationwide coverage. We launched 4G+. We built hundreds of small cells in the Netherlands, and we are still expanding. So small cells are there in Europe, and I think we have one of the largest small cell footprints built in Europe. It's also about innovations. It's about virtualization of the network. It's really looking into the core and leveraging on the newest technologies, also driving innovations there. We have the first examples in our network, talking about IMS, talking about NGIN, talking about SON everything virtualized, and we continue this journey because we think this will be the next big revolution in networks deployment. We talk also about air antennas, and particularly air antennas is also something exciting. Um, air antennas, product from Ericsson, uh, an active antenna, kind of active antenna, delivering much better indoor coverage, more capacity, more quality to our customers. We were also driving a quite extensive quality program because we considered that quality is really that what matters to our customers. Still looking at voice, looking at data, but also looking in our internal processes to make sure that the customer gets really the service which the customer expects from Vodafone. But we were also not just deploying 4G, we were still maintaining our old network, uh, modernizing the network, also still deliver 2G and 3G services to the customer. And yes, we considered yesterday uh, 2G will stay longer than we expected. Um, in the Netherlands, it's also quite interesting because we have a lot of borders around us. We were also investing a lot of uh, investments, or we put a lot, lot of investments into the border areas, also to keep our customers happy in those areas. Yeah, and last but not least, it's also Corporcom, it's data center consolidation. I think some of you still know that uh, two years, three years ago, we had a big fire in Rotterdam, and based on this, we developed a complete new program to consolidate our data centers to deliver the right resiliency stability to our customers. Our achievements, and this is something what shows the power of Vodafone, I think. Uh, we have the largest 4G roaming footprint. We deliver our services in 56 countries by May 2015. It's one big achievement, and it's also something just before the holiday season starts what our customers really like. Secondly, we have nationwide 4G coverage. We have the largest 4G plus carrier aggregation footprint in the Netherlands. We have already more than 110 municipalities equipped with carrier aggregation. 
And we see really the improvements also for all the customers having already 4G plus capable devices, particularly in the cell edge. When we look at small cells, and I would like to stay on this slide a bit longer, uh, particularly in the last one and a half years, we were deploying hundreds of small cells uh, in the big cities, um, creating outdoor performance zones. Um, we work there together, particularly in Amsterdam with GCD Co. In other cities, we work directly together with the municipalities, and we tried out everything what is necessary to deploy small cells. And it's still that the simple things are the most difficult things, getting the right connectivity, getting power 24 seven to a small cell. And we developed many, many solutions, particularly in the backhaul area together with our vendors uh, to make sure that we can connect the small cell everywhere. So it's not just fiber, it's line of sight backhaul, it's non line of sight backhaul. Um, also power, finding the solutions that you get 24 seven power in a lamppost, um, which is not normal. Usually you switch it on during night, you switch it off during day. And those kind of simple things we had to solve, we had to overcome all the hurdles, and we did it. It's commercial, it's working, and it delivers great customer experience. We put the same focus also in indoor solutions, particularly for big corporates. And there we deployed just in the last year more than 250 large indoor solutions for corporates, using also modern innovative technologies like Spider Cloud, like Radio Dot from Ericsson, where we did the world's first introduction of the Radio Dot in the Netherlands. And we get a quite nice feedback back from our customers. But it's also about core. I was, have been talking already about our super switch program where we consolidate our data centers, but it's also about expanding our core data chain to cope with the capacity demand. Um, as we have already more than 60% of our data usage sitting on 4G, and this is something also what we had to build, where we had to increase the capacity in the last year just to cope with the demand which is coming into your, in our network. But it's also about voice. And actually, most of the complaints that we are getting from our customers are still about voice. And so we put a lot of effort in, in yeah, improving our voice performance. And I can tell you, when you look at this graph, I was not allowed to put any values there. Um, when you look at 2012, also there we had the state of art uh, top core rate in our network. Nevertheless, it was not good enough for this market, which is a highly competitive market where you have very critical customers. So we had to develop a program to get it down, consisting of network modernization, introducing all new possible features to get a better voice quality. And actually, we have at the moment an all-time low in top call rates in our network, which is for us a big achievement, but it shows also that you can really transform networks uh, within a very short time frame. I'm just talking about two years. When we talk about data, uh, just to introduce one methodology um, developed by Ericsson based on Okla data, um, what we name app coverage. And this is what a customer really can use on his mobile phone. And there we say more than 95% of your data connections on a smartphone should be far above, 90, um, far above one megabit per second. It's really ideal if it's above 10 megabit per second, then you get a superior customer experience, a superior data experience. And uh, what we want to illustrate here is our journey from 2013 to the current point of time. And it's quite amazing. I mean, when you look at what the Netherlands there, uh, we are number three in the world uh, based on networks using Ericsson technology. This is the disclaimer there. And for us, it's amazing to see this. And uh, it's also amazing to see that it is possible to do this kind of uh, journey within Europe. What's next? We will continue to expand our 4G footprint because now it's about getting a much denser network to cope with the capacity demand in the network, expanding the 4G plus footprint because we see more and more devices coming supporting carrier aggregation. So we have at the moment dual carrier aggregation in a network. We started already to deploy triple carrier aggregation, but we will also expand our fiber to the site footprint to get the appropriate mixture of fiber connectivity and microwave connectivity uh, to our base stations. And we will definitely build more small cells because we be really believe in small cells for outdoor solutions, for indoor solutions, because this is the last bit and piece, what you need to do to get the best customer experience, particularly to crowded places, to places where our, your customer wants to have 
the best possible network experience. So we will also continue to modernize still our, yeah, you could say, old-fashioned networks. We want to build still two more, uh, more 2G and 3G sites. We will leverage on the IPification for sure, um, but it's also about convergence. It's also leveraging on our spectrum assets. And last but not least, this is the next big thing knocking on the door together with NFV. It's Vaulty, and this will also come into this network. Thank you. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.